A long time ago, a nine-year-old boy took his best friend's pet quail and crippled both its wings with a 17-inch rock hammer. There was no reason for the act. He simply liked hurting things. His friend, who did not yet understand the consequence this event would have on his life, vowed that one day he'd have his retribution. That day was today. You go. You You go!
told you already. Somebody's taken him. And you sure didn't just run away? Dogs do that, you know. He's never run away before. And I got this phone call. Right. Well, um, can you describe the dog to us and we'll put in a fire? Mum's recipe, blood orange, lime, sugar, beetroot, and a touch of Himalayan salt. Now that, my friend, is a good cup of juice. We used to run a juice business a few years back. Cancer got her. I'm sorry. She was a kind woman, your mum. It's a retina disease. I can see that. How have you been? Hmm. Two tours in Iraq. Thirteen confirmed kills. That's too bad. What is? You can't see the world anymore. Colors of a flower, art, the tits of a nice woman. I don't need to see it. I feel. <laughs> Do you still get them? The urges. Listen to me. <laughs> We've barely got into small talk and there I go again. It's a nice place. Do you live alone, old friend? No. You got a woman? A dog. Can I meet it? He ran away. Shame. They do that, you know. Dogs. Listen, I thought we might have a smoke together. Not in the habit. 
Sure you are. Just like old times. I harvested this lot myself. juice, Eli added something a little extra. It contained enough toxic semen from a Caribbean pufferfish to paralyze a full-grown Spanish stallion, weighing at just over 1,100 kilograms. As Eli proceeded to get to work, making a small incision in the jugular and the popliteal, which is a soft pillow of skin behind the kneecap, a pattern of strange feelings and memories suddenly began to spill through him. It briefly reminded him of the first time he ever saw how cotton candy was made. The time he received a Lego kit on his ninth birthday. The first time he discovered what masturbation was. And the very first time he made somebody orgasm. Just like that, Eli decided he was done holding back who he was inside. He felt ashamed of himself and what he'd become of how he let people walk all over him. He was tired of his insecurities, of putting up with a world that wouldn't even let him see. So, perhaps, he thought, it was time to give back. Later that day, as the inhabitants of Eli's neighborhood drank the juice, a strange feeling suddenly came over them. The taste was reminiscent of smoky, finely developed veal. Not young, but not yet beef or high game. Some were so intoxicated by it that sometimes their eyes would go bloodshot and produce tears for no particular reason. Others began to see beauty in the small things again a quality you can only grasp when you're young and unable to comprehend the idea of death. As for Eli, he finally found reconciliation and kept to a promise he'd held to himself for a very long time. To have a drink with a friend.